everybody and welcome again to my series of videos of counting to 100 and 100 languages. Uh, today we're doing Italian and I have my guest over here, William, who is going to help me out with a little bit of the history and he also knows geography really well. He's like a geography expert so he's going to give us uh, a little bit of a geographical tour of Italy <laughs> at, at the end. Um, so before I get counting, I always like to um, give a brief history of the uh, brief history of the language before uh, uh, before and then he's going to go over some geography as well afterwards. You're going to get plenty of geography knowledge from me. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Italian is a Romance language of the Indo-European family of languages. It is derived from vulgar Latin. Sardinian and Italian are the most direct descendants of Latin. It is the official language of Italy, Switzerland, uh, I mean parts of Switzerland, Ticino and Grissens, as well as San Marino and Vatican City and San Marino and Vatican City are... Are the city-states that are inside Italy. Okay, yeah. Uh, many Italians are bilingual in Italian and another regional language of Italy. There are 67 million speakers in the EU, with 13.4 um, million speakers speaking, uh, speaking it as a second language in the European Union. There are a total of 85 million speakers in the world, and due to its widespread use in musical terminology and opera, Italian is known as the language of music. Um, after the unification of Italy in the 19th century, Italian was adopted as the official language. Uh, it was previously a literary language of the Florentine society, who were upper class, and it was based on Tuscan. Uh, via, uh, through Dante Alighiero's poetic works, uh, Italian was formalized in the 14th century. But even before that, um, Italian was slowly advancing to official language status uh, before they... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, even though um, Italian was slowly advancing to official status before its unification, many regional uh, Italian dialects, and when I say dialects, they're actually sister languages, they're not mutually intelligible. Um, they're sister languages from Latin. Um, yeah, so those persisted, um, as well as indigenous languages of Italy, um, including Sardinian, Occitan, Ladin, Furling, uh, Franco, Prov uh, Franco, Prov Provenco, Franco Provencal. Provencal. Yes, uh, French, German, Greek, Slovene, and Croatian. Uh, yeah, so, so some of, I believe some of these are sister languages, and some of these are. Um, some of them are sister languages, some of them are just, just completely, completely different languages. Completely different roots. Some yeah. of them are not even romance languages. <laughs> yeah. Italian is very easy to rhyme because almost all na uh, native Italian words end in vowels. Uh, Vulgar Latin. Uh, it evolved to form many dialects on the Italian peninsula. Uh, these dialects were sister languages of Italian, um, as I said before. Standard Italian developed from one of these dialects with literary origin linked to Sicilian and Tuscan literature from the 12th century. However, there's text all the way back to 960 AD, distinct from Vulgar Latin, uh, that can be considered Italian vernacular, known as Placiti Cassinesi, which are judicial documents discussing disputes over lands um, in southern Italy. Uh, yeah, so due to the unification of Italy, mass media, newspaper, radio, and television, uh, Italian dialects have di drastically declined. Um, and when I say dialects, again, uh, we mean sister languages. Uh, the Renaissance period was obviously a time of great transformation where Italian became the language used in courts. Moreover, the printing press uh, further spread the Italian language throughout Italy. Um, however, Sardinia lagged behind in their assimilation. Um, debates on how to standardize spoken and written Italian arose in the 16th century. Uh, eventually, the purest school of thought prevailed, and official Italian was based solely on great literary classics. And soon, the first Italian dictionary was developed in 1612. So there are other, other school of thought coming from other scholars that wanted to kind of like merge uh, a bunch of sister dialects together, uh, as one as well as uh, some other variations of that. Anyways, that, that those schools of, school of thoughts uh, didn't win out against the purest, and um, yeah, the purest um, school of thought is what won over, which. Um, based the official Italian on, um, on mainly uh, the literary uh, writings, the literary works. Which was yeah. the Tuscan. Yeah, Tuscan, yeah. Okay, um, so yeah, due to colonialism, Italian is still somewhat spoken in Eritrea. Uh, in Libya, Italian was widely spoken until the rule of Gaddafi. Uh, it has fallen out of use in Somalia due to the Somali Civil War. Um, Italian is also the second most spoken language in Argentina. Uh, and the grammar of uh, the grammar of Italian is that of uh, is um is the grammar is common to that of other Romance languages, meaning it follows the 
general patterns and rules of other Roman languages when it comes to grammar. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hand over the mic to William, and he's going to tell us a little bit about geography. Because okay. there's a lot to talk about there. <laughs> All right, yeah. So, um, Italy is a pretty uh, diverse country geographically. Um, you know, it's traditionally represented by the uh, boot structure, which is uh, basically the Italian peninsula or the Apennine Peninsula. Um, so, most of Italy uh, is, you know, has is transversed by the Apennine Mountains, which go through the center, of course, the center of the country on the peninsula. Um, and so, the middle part of the country, you know, starts off, you know. In, you know, low near the sea, then, you know, you get hills and then mountains in the middle. You know, so that's basically the Italian peninsula. Um, but north of that, you've got the Po Valley, which is, uh, you know, a flat <laughs> area of uh, land. And in the middle, you got the Po River. And then further to the north of that, you got the Alps. And that's where the border, the, where the Italian border with Switzerland, France, and uh, Austria is located. Um, Italy also has two large islands, uh, Sicily and Sardinia. Sicily uh, is, you know, pretty hilly and also mountainous, mainly in the uh, eastern and northern parts of the country. On the eastern part, you've got Mount Etna, which is an active volcano. And uh, in Sardinia, Sardinia is also pretty hilly uh, and mountainous in some areas as well. Um, and uh, that's basically it for Italian geography. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. That was awesome. Okay, so we're going to uh, get counting. Um, I think I got all the numbers uh, figured out. They're very similar to other Latin languages. There's nothing really that special. Uh, there's a slight change uh, with the compound numbers of 10. Uh, from 11 to 16, you say uh, you say the single digit first and then the 10. And then after that, from 17 to 19, it swaps. You say the 10 first and then the single digit. Uh, there's also, um, uh, when you're doing compound numbers um, of 20 and above, uh, you merge the vowels when uh, for uh, compound numbers of uh, for compound numbers with one and for compound numbers with eight. So I'll get to that. Uh, I'll explain that. So okay, I'm gonna start with one to ten. Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, dieci. Okay, that's one to ten. And now I'm gonna do eleven to sixteen. Uh, again, so with these, uh, with the compound numbers of 10, you're going to put the single digit first and then the 10 afterwards. So it's going to be undici, dodici, tredici, quattordici, uh, quindici, sedici, and then now it's going to change. It's going to be dicha sette, dicha, no, uh, dicha otto, dicha nove, venti. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm going to, um, after, uh, uh, from 20 and up, the compound numbers, you just say the, the tens of the number followed by the single digit. Uh, you don't even have to say, you, there's no, there's not even an and in between. Uh, but with one and eight, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna drop the vowel on, uh, so, so instead of venti uno, you're gonna say ventuno. And instead of uh, venti otto, you're gonna say ventotto. So, uh, and that's, uh, that's the same thing for uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, and uh, all the way up to 100. Okay, uh, ventuno. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29, and 30. 31, 30, 32, 33, 34, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and uh, 40 is 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70, 70, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, and 80 is 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and uh, 90 is 90. 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100 is 100. 100. Great job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
so William speaks a little bit of Italian. Did you know the numbers or? Yeah, I yeah. think I remember all those. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So it sounded like I said it right. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And um, I hope to see you in my next video. And, uh, and blessings. Bye. Bye. <laughs>